Hey everybody, Jack Reeve here, Talk Nero City. Hope you guys are all doing very well indeed. Back again for another video. It's been a busy few weeks for Norwich City and it doesn't have any signs of stopping. More news coming out of the football club today. So I thought I'd jump on a video and bring it to you. The first of which being Moritz Leitner uh, has left the football club. Um, there has been a mutual termination of his contract. Of course, we didn't see him play at all. Um, during the entirety of, of, of last season um, and he's uh, moved on he's now a free transfer he can pick and choose where where he goes <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm sad about it I haven't lost sleep over this news but I must say when I read the article that said he'd only played 52 times for Norwich City I couldn't believe it I thought it was a lot higher than that I have really fond memories of, of Moritz Leitner I'd love to hear what you thought of um, Moritz Leitner's time at the club. He signed, didn't he, um, in the January of 2018. Uh, quite an early Daniel Farker signing. Um, initially, it was a loan deal. It then became permanent um, the following summer. And although he only scored twice for Norwich City and only played just over 50 times, I think he, he's a really big part of Norwich City's modern history. He was the first kind of... Um, wave of that new Daniel Farker type signing, the recruitment. We hadn't really seen um, players like this at Norwich City before and played in a fashion like this before. He was the type of player who was hot, he'd gone off the boil and then it was Norwich City's opportunity to try and um, reinvigorate that. And, and there was real glimpses of quality from Moritz Leitner. I mean, the goal against Ipswich is, was, of course, the highlight. The equaliser at Portman Road, which basically transitioned that whole season from, from bad to good. And we went on, of course, to, to win the championship in 2018-19. So that goal will be the one that really sticks out in, in Norwich City fans' minds. But I think back to around that time, and for me, he was one of the first players on the team sheet, week in, week out for Norwich City. And for whatever reason... It didn't quite work out long term. He was the orchestrator in that Murray City team. Um, picked passes beautifully. Maybe the, the thing that let him down eventually was was his lack of defensive work. Um, or maybe that's harsh. There wasn't. I don't think there was a, ever a lack of work rate. Maybe he just didn't have that skill set. He wasn't an Oliver Skip type player. When he had the ball at his feet and he was able to pick a pass, he often did a very good job. Um, but as I say, for whatever reason, didn't quite work. I don't know if anything happened off the pitch. To be honest, it doesn't really matter now. And Norwich City have continued to progress without him. Um, but I look at Moritz Leitner's time at Norwich City with real um, pride and happiness. I think he was an important part of that 2018-19 squad. Some really memorable matches in there uh, and the goal against Zipswich will, will live long in the memory. So best of luck to Moritz Leitner. The final thing I'm going to say on this, and it was the same thing with Alex Tete and the same thing with Mario Vrancic, is although it's sad to see these types of players leave, of course, we were all more disappointed to see the, uh, Tete and, and Vrancic leave. But I think if you take the bias away here, we can all agree that all three of them players just mentioned would not have been good enough for the Premier League. And I think we've been guilty before of taking players into the Premier League and going up um, divisions, whether that's from League One to the Championship or Championship to, to the Premier League and keeping hold of players, even though deep down we know they're not good enough just for sentimental reasons. And I think that's a really dangerous approach. Stuart Webber has said that. The last time we got to the Premier League, we were too sentimental with the players that we took with us. And I think Leitner, Tete, Vrancic, they all go in the same ilk, really. I think you can probably add the likes of Stieperman and Zimmerman to that list. Players who aren't good enough for the Premier League. Um, and for our sake and their sake, let them go uh, and let them play at the level that they d deserve to be playing at. So best of luck to Moritz Leitner. The other bit of news is it looks like Sebastian Soto will be leaving Norwich City. Now, Sebastian Soto is a really intriguing case, isn't he? You often get players whose reputation rises despite them not playing for Norwich City. And I think you can put Sebastian Soto in this um, category. Never played for Norwich City. We signed him from Hanover on a three-year deal. 
then due to work permit issues, he, he was loaned out to Telstar in the second division of Dutch football, um, where he got seven goals in 12, quite an impressive um, amount of games, and then got a call up to, uh, to the senior um, squad as well. He was then able to join Norwich City with that work permit in January um, because he made an appearance for the United States of America. Um, so he's good to go now, basically, but it looks as if Sebastian Soto will be making a move to Porto. Not the first team, that's worth saying, the Porto B team. I think the Portuguese divisions are um, kind of separated in a manner like Spain, where you have the B teams and also the first teams competing in the same kind of pyramid. Um, so I, I think it's a strange one, isn't it? Because if you look on Twitter, there, there's, there's some people really outraged by this news. You have to look at this with some kind of kind of um, reality here. Will Sebastian Soto get into Norwich City's Premier League team? No. He has been playing second division Dutch football um, and all of his football hasn't come at a level quite like the Premier League. Now, I know he's got the international call-up, but with that being said, can we afford to have players on the books who we don't think have a future at Norwich City. Now, I'm not saying that Soto hasn't got a future at, this, at Norwich City, but clearly someone at the club is saying that. And that's the reason why they're accepting him to go out on loan to Porto with an option to sign for around a million euros um, at the end of that season-long deal. So it, it, I guess it makes sense. They know Sebastian Soto's development far better than, than I do. And if they deem Soto not fit uh, f to play for Norwich City or not suited to the way we're playing then it makes sense get him out to Porto massive opportunity for him and hopefully he can do good things would I have liked to have seen Soto rip it up for Norwich City of course I would have done I haven't really watched him play and clearly um, the people that have done don't think it's worth him in the Premier League squad for next season Leitner's has gone and it looks like Soto will be going as well. Let me know your thoughts. What was your fondest memory of Moritz Leitner other than the Ipswich goal? Because I think that will be the highlight for most. Was there a little niche moment that, that really caught your eye with Moritz Leitner? I know that a lot of you have fond memories on it, of him. And Sebastian Soto, am I underselling this man slightly? Is he good enough to play in the Premier League? And if so, why are we not keeping hold of him? There we go. That's your update for today. Thank you very much for watching. As always, thank you to our sponsors. And if you've enjoyed this, then you should click subscribe for brand new Norwich City content pretty much daily. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.